Hey guys and welcome. In today's video I just want to give you a quick tip on how you can complete some of the weekly missions that might be harder to do, like the three headshots in one life or all the melee kills for example. Cause I know that some of you are struggling with them and especially when you don't have much time to play these can be very frustrating. But I think every one of you deserves to have as many of these missions completed as possible and unlock some more battle pass rewards. So here's what you can do. First of all, you need to create an own experience in Portal and then you need one or more friends that help you to do the missions. Cause as long as you don't add any AI or make any changes to the rules editor, you can complete weekly missions on all custom Portal experiences. For example, I helped a friend with the melee kills cause he has only time to play on the weekend and was getting quite frustrated with them. So I set up a server for only two people and he knifed me a few times to complete this mission. This is of course not the way you should complete all missions, but for the few you might have left and that you are struggling with, this is definitely a good alternative to the normal multiplayer matches. So what you need to do is to get over to the Portal web editor that you can find at portal.battlefield.com, link is in the description below the video as usual, and then click on create something new. Then I would recommend to go with Team Deathmatch cause that makes it easier to find each other and choose a map you prefer in the map rotation tab. Then in game mode details you can set the player count down to two people or how many you want to have on your server. If you have more friends that you want to complete the missions with, choose the number you need. But I prefer to go 1v1 cause this way you make sure that the other one is in the opposite team, cause that doesn't always work if the player count is higher. Then click on the little folder icon in the top right corner to give your experience a short name and description. Here you can also see that you will get full XP and that everything you do will count towards your weekly missions. Click create to save your experience. Note that you are not allowed to use any AI at all and just shoot them or fill up the server with them, cause this will result in a restricted experience that doesn't allow you to make any progress on the weekly missions. So I would not recommend to touch anything else than the first three tabs I mentioned. If you have other missions that need to be completed, for example helicopter or vehicle missions, you can also create a game of conquest and get in with a few more of your friends so you can all help each other. If you shouldn't have any friends who play Battlefield 2042, no worries, you can also head over to my Discord server, link is in the description as well, and ask for help over there, I'm sure you will find someone to play with. Once your experience is created, get into the game and head over to Portal. Then go to the Host tab and create a server for your experience. Name and description should be filled in already and then just give it a password and you're good to go. I would definitely recommend to fill in a password cause this way your server won't show up at the portal browser for everyone. And I think if you only want to do this with a friend, then you don't want it to show up anyhow. Once the server has started, your friend can simply join in on you even if you are not in a party. If you don't want to create an own server and ask around for help from other players, you can also check the portal browser and see if there are any community games available that are focused on completing the missions like knives only servers for example. Those might help as well and might make it a little bit easier for you. And that's it for today, I hope this video helps you to complete some of the weekly missions that you haven't done yet, at least for the ones that you can do with only one opponent this should help, but if you have some more people to play with you, you can even get the multi-kill challenges done and finally complete them. So if you found this video helpful, don't forget to drop a like or a comment below and subscribe to the channel to stay tuned for more content like this. Until then, thanks for watching, I'm the Catwoman and you are awesome.